Hello guys and welcome to another session right here at AppSheet and more. Now today's video is going to be a very exciting one, just trust me on this. So if you recall, I did a video on how you could decide the colors of your calendar charts in AppSheet, right? If you've not watched this video, I'm going to, link, I'm going to leave a link so you can actually watch this video and learn how you can do this. Now over here, I have added something to this app. Now right here are live Luca Studio dashboards. Yes. So a lot of people know that you can connect your app sheet data to Luca Studio and do some intensive analysis in there, right? But the problem is, okay, now that I've done this there, how do I let my users access those reports? Okay. Now what you can do is you could actually use or provide a link in app sheet and then allow users to open those links in their browser. The problem is sometimes how to present this link, people use action icons, people just display the links as is, but you can actually create very beautiful thumbnails that enhance the view of your app. And that's what I've done right here. So all these are live, um, they are live Luca Studio dashboards that when you click on each of them, it just takes you to the dashboard in question so that the users can right here in the app be able to view these dashboards, okay? So it's interactive as well. You can make all these changes. You can select all these things as well. The user can tilt their phone and view this better, right? When they're done, they can just click here and close it and go back and they can view another report that they want to view. So I'm going to show you how you can actually take your Lucas Studio links and then present them in a much more nicer way, okay? So you can view them or your users can view them right here in AppSheet. So stick and stay and let's see how this can be done. All right, guys, so we are now in AppSheet and we're going to look at how we can create this view that we want to have that's showing our Luca Studio dashboards. So I'll come to data and over here, I just want to show you how people are able to take data from AppSheet into Luca Studio for analysis. So if you are new to this, you should know that when you come to your data and you click on the more options, there's a create report option. So when you click create report, what it's going to do is going to take this um, data you have in that table, including your virtual columns, everything, right? And then just take it into Luca Studio for you to visualize, right? Create your dashboard, do your analysis, okay? And then users can actually access this. The problem which we are trying to now solve is how to allow users to visually see these reports in AppSheet and be able to assess them. Okay, so right here, I've migrated the data into AppSheet over here. Um, so I have sales data, sales data. Let me see what came in over here. So add data, this allows you to add data. And then you see that AppSheet is an option over here. So you can just come here and navigate into the various options. So I'll select AppSheet over here, next. And then you select your app and then you select the table. Now, currently, the way this is configured it requires you to select a table one at a time. That's one huge thing or one issue I have with this particular um, layout or the way AppSheet is configured and linked with Lucas Studio. You need to go through this and select this one by one, right? But then at least it should be able to allow you to do this at a go, okay? And then I think I'll click next here. And then I'll click add. So I just want to just demonstrate what it's like if you want to create um, a report for your app sheet data, right? So now you have your app sheet data in here, right? And then if you want to create any form of charts, Okay, so maybe you want to create some sort of bar charts, so something like this. Okay, so you need to provide the categories and the metrics and all these things. I just want to demonstrate this. So you have high, good, low over here. It's already done this. So your dimensions, category, and then your sales is the metric, right? Um, let me see. I can remove this and I can use color as a dimension. Okay, this is going to lose so purple, orange, brown. It still works, 
that's just a quick view of how you could bring things into Luca Studio. Luca Studio is a very beautiful analytic tool. To be frank, it's not something I've delved too deep in, but I'm looking to delve into it and see how you can link it with AppSheet. Okay, now let's come back. So when you are done with this, you create, you save this report, okay, and um, acknowledge and save. Good. So when you save your reports, you can get the link. Okay. So you come here to invite and share. Okay. Then you set this to public. Anyone with a link can view this and you click copy link to get it good. So now you create all your reports and you copy the link. And then what you do is you now create a table. So let's come back into our app, view data source. Good. Then you create a table like this, so reports, right? So you see over here, I have reports. I have the report name and the link, right? The report name and the link. So you need to bring the a, a column for the link and then you indicate or you paste the link you just copied. So you just paste the link like this and then, then you just have a name for it. So um, sales analysis, something like this. So sales analysis. Right, good. Then what you do is you come into App Sheets, and in App Sheets, all you're going to do is you're going to bring in this report table. So I have it over here. So add reports. Now click add to app. Good. So our reports tables is in. So all we need to do is come here to views, right? And then we're going to create a new view. Okay, I'm going to call this reports. Okay, and I'm going to set this on the reports table. I'm going to click save. Good. So when you create something like this, this is what you have, right? And then this is how links are shown. So when you click here to open, right, it's going to open the report, the Lucas Studio report. But you see, this, this is just not nice, okay? This is not presentable. What we want to do is create apps that have very beautiful UIs, okay? So we're going to create a thumbnail out of this, which is very simple. So we'll come here. And the reports, all we're going to do is create a link. We're going to call this a virtual column and call this reports link. Okay. And this is very simple. All we're going to do is take the link and then we're going to concatenate this with thumbnail. The beautiful thing about Lucas Studio is it allows us to just show a thumbnail of the report by adding slash thumbnail to it. So then I click this and I click done okay i have slash thumbnail what we're going to do is we're going to change this from text to image um sorry image where are you good good and once we do this it's just going to create a thumbnail image of the dashboard good. so once you you create this this should automatically pop up over here if it's not popping up sometimes you need to for some reason, sometimes you need to deactivate this required image file you are assigning for it to pop up, right? But ideally it should pop up, it should pop up. Okay, so now I have this in place. So what I want to do is I want to use gallery view instead of a card view. So come here and I'll set this to gallery. Okay, and I have this, right? Very easy, very simple. And when I click on this, it just takes me to the report, right? In my web browser, in my browser. And if I'm using my app, it will open this in a browser as well. So guys, this is how you can create beautiful thumbnails for your apps that send you into Lucas Studio reports instead of just showing raw links, okay? So I hope you found this useful and then I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you. Take care. Bye.